When creating pipe routes, we'll often have to fit our pipe geometry within a certain area or route it along other components within our assembly. Let's take a look at this drain pipe as an example. Here, we'd like this drain pipe to descend down to about four inches off the floor and then maintain that four inch distance off each of the walls of the drain pipe. Fortunately, we can use our auto route tool to make this very easy. We'll simply choose the option route along geometry, choose the segment of pipe that, we've liked to, that we would like to route, and then we can just choose each of the faces of that enclosed area to go through and route that pipe. After we've created a pipe route, we might decide that one section is too long, or we might want a flange to fit directly to an elbow. Fortunately, removing that section of pipe is very simple using SolidWorks routing. We'll simply edit the route, choose which section of pipe we'd like to remove, exit our sketch, and we can see that flange is now fit directly to the elbow. Many times, we'll also want to go through and add some slope to our pipes to allow gravity to assist the fluid to flow through them. Again, a very easy process using SOLIDWORKS routing. We'll simply edit the route, choose which section of pipe we'd like to add the slope to, and then it's a matter of choosing our gravity plane, in this case the top plane, and we'll go ahead and flip the direction of gravity, making sure that it's going down. We also need to choose the start point for the slope, right there at the beginning of the pipe, and then we can set how much slope we're applying to this specific section of pipe, in this case using one unit per 30 units, or about 1.9 degrees. I hope you've enjoyed these three tips for SOLIDWORKS routing, and hopefully they'll allow you to create your pipe routes a lot more easily.